In this video, I'll show you how to configure and navigate the Adobe Connect platform. This tutorial is useful if you are a new student or if you are using Adobe Connect on a new or different computer. Let's start out by locating our classroom from the Adobe Connect homepage. Visit colby.adobeconnect.com Then enter your username and password. This information was sent to your parent via a welcome email. Once you've logged in to the Adobe Connect homepage, you can see your courses under the My Meetings section. We'll be visiting the Tutorials classroom for this video. Click the Open button to launch the classroom. Before we move forward and explore the virtual classroom, please note that you can also locate a course's classroom URL on its Schoology page. To do this, log in to your Schoology account, then locate your course. Once you are on the courses page, you can locate the Adobe Connect classroom URL under the information section on the left side of the page. Copy and paste the URL into a new browser tab to open the classroom. If you aren't familiar with Schoology yet, be sure to watch our Schoology tutorial video, which goes over navigating the platform in detail. Okay, now let's go over the classroom environment. Here is the general idea of what your classroom will look like. Typically, you'll be able to see the attendees pod here, a chat box, here, and a presentation screen. You may see other types of pods, like the video pod on my screen, depending on how the teacher has the classroom set up. To ensure Adobe Connect will work correctly, you'll need to verify that you've installed the required add-in. To do this, click the Help button to the top right corner of the classroom, then click Troubleshooting from the drop-down menu. This will bring up a browser window that will test your connection. Make sure you turn your pop-up blocker off for this page. Please note that you can also reach this testing page when you're not in a classroom. The direct URL will be posted in notes under this video. The fourth step of this test checks the add-in. I already have the add-in, so I have a green check mark. However, if you don't have the add-in, you'll see a red X and you will be prompted to install the add-in via a pop-up. Once you've installed this, you should be good to go. Now that we've taken care of installing the add-in, let's circle back to our classroom. At the top of my room, you'll see a few icons. A speaker icon, a microphone icon, and a hand raising icon. Your icons may vary depending on how the teacher has your room set up. For this tutorial, we'll focus on the speaker and microphone icons. You'll see that my speaker icon is green and that the microphone icon is white. Green means my speaker is connected and white means that I haven't yet connected a microphone. Before I show you how to connect your mic, please note whether you have a USB headset or a 3.5 millimeter jack headset as shown in this image. If you are using a USB headset, you need to make sure that your headset is plugged into your computer prior to opening the Adobe Connect Classroom. Otherwise, Adobe Connect may not recognize your headset. If you are using a 3.5 millimeter jack headset, Adobe Connect should recognize it without any issue. To connect your microphone to the classroom, click the drop down arrow next to the microphone icon then hover over Select Microphone. If Adobe recognizes your headset, you will find it listed here. Once your microphone is connected, if you click the microphone icon, it should turn green. You can click the microphone icon to toggle muting and unmuting your microphone. If your mic is muted, there will be a green slash through the icon at the top of your screen as well as a red slash through the microphone icon next to your name on the attendees pod. If you're having trouble getting your microphone connected, ask for help in the chat box. Other students will be more than happy to assist you. If you still need help configuring Adobe Connect, 
send an email to techsupport at colby.org.